and we charge students tuition. And basically, in 2008, our budget was about $35 million. Um, we have grants and we have some capital money on top of that, but the operations budget was about that. And, uh, and starting July 2010, we'll be down to about $30 million. So we've taken you know, a good, good hit in terms of uh, reduction of uh, some of the services that we're going to provide. Um, uh, but uh, you know, it, it, it also helps us to be more innovative and more creative. Um, We've closed four instructional programs to date, Auto Body, Fire Science Day, Human Services, and Paralegal. We've cut um, at least 30 staff positions. I think that's closer to about 35 now. We've closed hundreds of classes, which uh, means that we've, um, we've laid off dozens of part-time faculty. So basically, I just want you to know that going forward, um, there's room at the end, but um, students really need to come with a plan. They really need to know what they're going to do, and they really need to help us help them do that. Um, we register students based on uh, the credits that they've already accomplished. So students who are on a good path are going to be able to register for classes. On the back end with new students, tell them to get over. Tell them to get to see a counselor. Tell them um, to uh, decide, if possible, on a major and know what they're doing. Um, in terms of innovations, though, we're working on a number of things to, to respond. Um, you know, timing in life is everything. I became the president at CBC two years ago, so I guess the correlation is I became president and we lost $5 million. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, um, but, but we are working on some innovative kind of things because, you know, you take a job like this because you want to grow things. You don't want to, you know, manage um, decline. But uh, uh, we have a couple of really great models over there. We have a Center for Laboratory Science, which is a joint venture between an analytical chemistry group, RJ Lee, and the college. Um, we built space for them to spec, and they lease back from us. Um, our students are interns for them, et cetera. And we also have creative marketing consultants, which Gene Holland uh, uh, has set up in his marketing program as an actual company. And uh, every year, they work with tons of clients. So, um, so we're continuing some of those ideas. Uh, for example, the Innovation Institute is an initiative we're working with Pay Plus Benefits, uh, John Heaton's company, and we've uh, we've um, uh, uh, using um, an innovation. Uh, methodology developed by IDEO in San Francisco have had several classes where students redesign different kinds of products for companies around here. It's been enormously successful. Our first one was with Ty Light and, and the, the student group worked on a redesign of one of their wheelchairs and uh, um, we presented it to Ty Light and they liked some of the ideas. Our nuclear technology program, I think this is a go forward kind of model. Uh, we, we started a program this past fall without any state money whatsoever. Uh, we put together a coalition of the willing. Uh, we got cash, we got equipment, we got instruction. Uh, we have 41 students in the program. Uh, we started a leadership fellows program uh, with a guy by the name of Doug Crandall. I think he's spoken to this group. And Doug um, was an instructor at West Point, and he's teaching a leadership curriculum that goes for nine months, um, uh, meets several times, well, three times a, a, a month, and has guest lecturers from Harvard and Stanford and West Point and University of Washington and other places. Been very successful for the 24 individuals who's completed it. Um, and we're, uh, we're working on corporate education, working with Lockheed, uh, hoping to work with a, a number of other companies. Uh, we're increasing our partnerships with, the K with K-20 because in order to manage um, smaller budgets, we need to leverage. Um, they need to leverage us. We're uh, working with the nursing program at, 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 um, at, at Vicki's University to figure out how we can co-locate. Um, we started college in the high school this past year, which is a dual credit program like Running Start, except it's taught at the high school rather than at the college. Uh, we're talking to Delta High School about a Running Start program there for world languages so that their students can get college credit for their high school language requirements. Um, it, we work with Heritage University very closely. We have, um, we have uh, uh, several programs that they uh, provide as degree completions. Uh, they have several masters in education programs at the college. Uh, so students graduate from us and then, and then continue to come to us, but uh, take classes from Heritage. We uh, uh, just finished the groundwork for a general science degree. And uh, when in talking with Heritage, um, I've, I've made it clear that we want to develop programs, but we don't want to develop anything that competes with WSU Tri-Cities. We're not trying to be redundant or repetitive. We're trying to create new niches that create pathways for individuals. 
Um, we are working on a, a new program we started this past fall, a Bachelor of Applied Science degree in Applied Management. The, uh, the program creates a degree track for individuals who normally would have hit a cul-de-sac in their studies. So as I said before, um, the, uh, the workforce preparation student who gets a, um, a community college degree may have 15, 20, 30 credits that would transfer to university. But if they wanted to go to a university to complete a bachelor's degree, they'd probably start over as freshmen. Um, the state is very interested in creating more bachelor degree tracks for folks. So um, there are seven community colleges now who are teaching baccalaureate, um, uh, baccalaureate programs at the community college level. And um, we have, I think, 45 students in this program right now. We'll have another 45 or so next year. So we'll have a, fr a junior and a senior class. And then we expect to grow the program to about 180 students. Um, it's been very successful. The students uh, take curriculum. Uh, well, it's, it's designed for individuals who are frontline supervisors in their uh, institutions. And it teaches them traditional business curriculum, finance, management, strategy, but within the context of their, their, their own job. So it's an applied kind of management degree. Um, very innovative and very interesting. A uh, quick kind of look at some of our capital projects. We have, um, uh, if you've driven down Argent, uh, you've seen the Center for Career and Technical Education going up. That building will be open later this fall. It'll be about 80,000 square feet, gold lead standard building, lots of natural lighting, just a beautiful facility where we'll place our trades programs like welding technology and automotive and manufacturing technology as well as uh, nuclear technology. There's also shell space for future uh, program development because we hope to um, uh, create energy education as a major thrust going forward since that's gonna be a huge part of the economy. Um, you can see big bays, um, lots of great natural lighting, um, great, great building. In, uh, actually, should, that should be 2013 because we've been delayed on the project. Um, we're going to build a new so social sciences uh, and world languages building. It'll be a two-story structure, about 40,000 square feet. Um, we will submit in the, in the winter, again, a proposal for a new fine and performing arts facility. Uh, the regional uh, uh, PFD, I hope, will be interested in this uh, if we can get some funding from the state. Uh, maybe we can do a match program. The idea here would be to build a theater of 1,500 to 2,000 seats that CBC would manage. We would manage the box office and all the technical stage stuff, et cetera, for the community. But it would create a, you know, a first-class venue for, for uh, uh, musical and theatrical performances. Um, this is one that's near and dear to my heart. We have an observatory, and we want to we want to go to phase two and build a planetarium. The planetarium, um, uh, we're exploring funding options right now, uh, but this would give uh, uh, an IMAX-like experience for lots of different kinds of things besides astronomy. It'll be a great educational tool for for the college. But what we really want to use it for uh, doubly is as an outreach tool. This is a STEM kind of area of the country. Um, our future is going to be in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and medicine in a big way. And we need to get more and more of our students interested in science. And if you, if you, uh, if you talk to an adult who's been to a planetarium as a child, they'll say, oh yeah, I remember that. And they'll have very precise memories because it's such a powerful experience and we want to provide that for our youth. Um, we can get this built for just a couple of million dollars, which in this environment is kind of tough, but we're, we're, we're working on it. Um, and that's about, that, uh, that's about it. I wanted to close with um, just uh, four stories of community college students so you kind of get a flavor of the people we work with. Um, I highlighted these individuals at our graduation um, uh, last, uh, last Friday night. Uh, the first person, Jessica uh, Castro, she graduated from Connell High School and Columbia Basin College. Uh, with a 3.93 or something like that GPA. She's a National uh, Honor Society student. She um, is a member of the All Washington um, academic team. She's transferring to Gonzaga University and uh, is on scholarship and will be studying psychology. Uh, another individual, AJ uh, Spaniel, graduated on Friday night. That's my alarm to tell me that I'm, I, I've got one, one minute left. I did not want to cut into Vicky's time. <laughs> AJ was sent by uh, WICO, 
um, a local company to work on uh, a welding job in the Marshall Islands. Um, did such a great job with, uh, with them that they want to build their uh, uh, plan for his employment around his going to our bachelor's program. So he's going to be continuing the fall to work on a bachelor's degree.